Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 7th to October 13, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, okay. Card just flew out of the deck here. We have the Eight of Swords. We also have here the Queen of Cups showing up. We also have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Two of Cups, and also the Two of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. All right, give me a second. All right, so with the Knight of Swords showing up here and the Two of Cups, I'm definitely getting an energy of someone who's rushing toward you or someone who's thinking about rushing toward you. Yeah, I feel like they're thinking about it. Yeah, someone's contemplating... Uh, breaking their silence with you. Someone's contemplating breaking their silence with you. Um, someone's contemplating rushing towards you. Because they want to heal their relationship with you. Uh, with the temperance card. This could also represent um, the energy of a reconciliation. Yeah, this person's definitely thinking about... With the hermit card they're thinking and contemplating um making contact with you with the knight of wands reaching out to you pursuing you but they are very hesitant is what i'm noticing in their energy they're very hesitant Something is making them feel very indecisive. They're not sure if it would work out or not with the Eight of Pentacles. They want it to work out. They want it to work out, but they're not sure if, if it would. Yeah, I do see that this person wants to, like, connect with you or reconnect with you and... Um, establish balance and harmony and peace with you with the temperance card and the two of cups let me look at you real quick and see what's going on with your um, energy spirit what can you tell me about this uh, queen of cups please i do feel like this is someone who you have um a lot of feelings for this is someone who you have love for or you feel a you feel an emotional connection with them clarify the um king of, uh, queen of cups so we have the seven of swords we also have the knight of wands oh Mm -hmm. You know, I don't feel like this person was offering you a serious relationship or a serious commitment um, when you were dealing with them. We do have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Uh, this feels like the energy of someone who has developed feelings for you. In the beginning, I feel like this person was just trying to have um, a good old time with you. Nothing more, nothing less. I feel like their intentions was 
to just have a casual fling or a casual hookup or a casual, you know, superficial type of relationship with you. But I do feel like this person is now um, in this energy of thinking about it twice. They're thinking twice about what they actually want with you and um, the type of relationship that they want to establish with you. Um, I feel like this person, uh, somewhere along the road, they have developed feelings for you. I feel like you already had feelings for them from the beginning, but they didn't have feelings for you. Not in that way. Not in the way you had. Yeah, not in the way you had feelings for them. I feel like they were more... Um, they were more focused on uh, maintaining a superficial relationship with you. or creating a superficial relationship with you. Um, what else can you tell me about the uh, Queen of Cups spirit connected to Aquarius? All right, so we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, and the Two of Swords at the bottom. You know, you do seem a little bit conflicted, Aquarius, with the Eight of Swords. And it's because of how this person has been um, showing up in this relationship with you. They've been very fickle. They've been very inconsistent. You know, they've been very in and out of your life. And they haven't really offered you anything serious. It almost feels like a part of you wants to just wait and see. Yeah, a part of you is in this energy of like, well, let me wait and see to see what happens. Um, but you're not feeling very optimistic is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Eight of Swords connected to Aquarius Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Swords. All right, so we do have the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of internal conflict going on inside of you. Um... Some of you might feel like um, there's other people in the picture. That, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> there's other people in the in the picture that are interfering in in this relationship. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Aquarius. All right, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Yeah, you're not sure if this is something that you want to invest in or if this is something you want to keep investing in or not. Um, and it's because, like I said, this person has been showing up in a very un inconsistent way in your life um, and they haven't made you any type of solid offer. Um, <clears throat> but because you're showing up as a queen of cups here, you know, again, you do have feelings for this person or you do feel a special connection with them. So a part of you, you know, Queen of Cups can be someone who's very patient, male or female, by the, by the way, it doesn't matter the gender. Queen of Cups can be very patient. So I do feel like there's a part of you that's thinking, maybe I should just be more patient, you know. Maybe I should just be more patient. Maybe I should just keep waiting to see if maybe something... Uh, sorry, that was my phone. Sorry about that. Maybe I should just keep waiting to see if, you know, things turn around for the better, um, you know, maybe I just, maybe I should just wait to see if this person um, finally makes a decision to 
to establish a serious relationship with me. It's like a part of you doesn't feel hopeful, but a but another part of you is still hanging on to hope. Is what I'm getting. What is um what does Aquarius want with this person or from this person spirit? What does Aquarius want with this person or from this person? All right, so we have the Nine of Cups showing up. Okay. Well, Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. Um, what's the wish here? With the Nine of Cups spirit. I feel like you want more emotions from this person. Yeah. You want more emotions from them. From them. You want them to express more. To express their emotions. To, to show you their emotions. To show you that they care about you. What's the Nine of Cups here in regards to what Aquarius wants? Five of Swords. You might feel like this person is very much in their ego um, and the page of wands. You might feel like they're operating from a place of ego. Uh, you might feel like this person is playing games and um, being very defensive with you or um, being very guarded toward you, um, being immature with the page of wands. Yeah, so some of you just want this person to be honest with you in regards to how they really feel about you and be more expressive with their emotions and more uh, demonstrative. Yeah, you might feel like this person is playing emotional games with you. So you want them to stop playing games and to just be honest with you about how they really feel. Um, and like basically form a genuine connection with you. Okay. All right, so Aquarius, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to now continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.